<laughs> Please welcome to the Van Jones Show, Sean Jay Z Porter. Oh yeah. You know, it's a nice. They I'm, hooked you up. You got a nice uh, spot going. Yeah, on. yeah. <laughs> no, uh, no. We uh, they 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 did me up right. Yeah, yeah CNN. Yeah. Uh, when they heard you were coming. Yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never knew how many people loved me and cared about my career until you said you was coming. All of a sudden, <laughs> I got cousins like, hey, you know, I just want to be there to support you, and um, I got a mix mixtape, you know. I <laughs> so anyway, so it means a lot to have have you here. You know. Thank you. Um, uh, this album, the 444 album, you've got all these awards and nominations. One of the things that blew my mind, though, is when you had the video on Family Feud and you show Blue Ivy uh, having grown up to either save the world or take over the world, and she's rewriting the Constitution, all that type of stuff. And it's just beautiful, uh, just so powerful to show women of color with that kind of, of, of standing. Mm -hmm. But Blue Ivy must be dope, man, for you to be like sitting that kind of a love letter to her. What is it about Blue Ivy that you love so much? You want to do a song like this about her? Man, nah, she's just special, man. She, she, she's she's uh, um, someone who's definitely been here before everyone says that. But I, I believe that because she has a, um, she's so in tune to her feelings and others, you know, how other people feel. Mm. Um, I, we were seeing a fire from my house. Uh, this is before the the, the fires just the recently in, in Los Angeles, and it was it was far off, and uh, she just seen smoke, and she just started crying, and she's I don't want anyone to be hurt. Wow! Like that's the that's type of empathy, empathy, and yeah. human being that she is at such a young age, and that that concept was dreamed up, dreamt up by myself and uh, Ava. Ava DuVernay. Yeah. Yeah, she's and, uh, too. I wish we could have taped the phone conversations because they were beautiful. You know, just, just dreaming up this world where um, there would be no more firsts for black people. Like, all the firsts had been accomplished. So wow. let's move that out of the conversation. That Check. conversation is done. Check. So what, where do we go from here? You know, it was just a beautiful thing that... Uh, that we dreamt up, and I'm glad that people respond to the no, way I mean, it's, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And, you know, It's just, you don't even realize what you're missing in the culture until somebody shows it to you. You know, mm -hmm. we have a lot of, you know, black, black people have a lot of history, but very little future. We, we, we got a whole month for black history, but we haven't even got like a black future weekend. Like we never talk about the future, you know? So, you know, to be able to see that and also to see it so, so women-centered. In this mo uh, Me Too moment, in this Time's mm -hmm. Up moment, does that give you hope for your daughters? I mean, how do you make sense of, of this new rise of women's voices? Yeah, I think it's, um, again, I believe everything happens for a reason. You know, everything is a learning experience. You know, the good, bad, and the ugly. And, you know, this had to happen to purge itself. Mm -hmm. You know, for, for, you know, men who've been in position for so long. And then, of course, if you're in that position of power to abuse your power, you get drunk off success. It's like human nature. If you go unchecked, it takes a really special person to have that sort of power and not wield not it. Not abuse it. Yeah, yeah. In, in the wrong way. So, you know, it has to happen. This, 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 this movement and everything that's going on and this, um, what we're finding out, it's like everything else. It's like racism, like everything. It's, it existed the whole time. And we just, it's almost like we normalized it. Yeah. The, norm, the normalization of the things we have to do to survive. Like, for women to, like, go to work knowing that this sort of abuse was happening every day, you, happening every day. Because you can look and, you know, logically, you'll say, why would you stay there? Right. Yeah, what's the alternative? Yeah. What's the alternative? You have to uh, survive in America. And, you, and in order to survive, you have to normalize it. So this has been going on. So everything, for it to get uncovered and the world to correct itself, um, That's beautiful. This, is, this is what has to happen. Well, you know, um, you now have uh, two daughters to worry about. You, you have a, a twins. I'm, a, I'm here to warn you about something. I'm I, not worried about my children. Yeah. Oh, I don't, you have to, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know it's, I know it's a word, but I don't even want to put that out there in the world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I'm hopeful for my daughters. I, I, I'm, 
the, the amount of information um, that we'll give them and the amount of love between those two things, you know, they, they'll be, they'll be, they'll be, they'll be fine. Right. They'll be all right. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's beautiful. Now, I, love, yeah. I love how you keep it positive. Yeah. Um, I, I, will, I will say uh, you have a set of twins. Yeah. I want you to know something. I'm a twin. I have a twin sister. Her name is Angela. Hello, Angela. Um, and just be prepared because twins are no joke. We can yeah. like telepathically scheme on the parents. Yeah, yeah. We'd be like, you know, yeah. I'm gonna cry from one to three a.m. Yeah. and then you pick it up from three. To, are, are, yeah. are, are they are they driving you nuts? We drove yeah. our parents nuts. How how, yeah. are they, how are they having twins as a super dad? It's actually a, they, we're in a beautiful time now mm -hmm. um, because they're seven months and they can't move. <laughs> <laughs> They That's just awesome. cool. They just, they just cool, and you don't have to like wait, 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 oh, wait, wait, wait. You know they're not running anywhere yet. So we gonna, we gonna enjoy these couple months until they start running, and, and then, then it's, it's gonna be then it's over. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Now speaking of running, uh, Blue Ivy got to run around in the Obama White House a little bit. Uh, yeah. Do you think that these twins will be running around in the Trump White House much? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not. <laughs> Not a shot. Not a <laughs> but, not why, a, but why not? I was thinking about this honestly. Like, well, we won't be invited, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, when, when Trump could, yeah. he could say, "Listen, yeah. I'm the first hip hop president. Yeah. I get in beefs with people. I like bling. I got yeah. a plane. I yeah. mean, he could make a play. What if he made a play? Yeah. Well, he doesn't have the struggle, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the key. That's the key. Yeah. yeah. That's the key. Um, you know, I, um, I, I want to talk to you a little bit about this because, you know, as a parent, you know, trying to raise black kids um, with all the positivity we give them, you know, we have a president that comes and says every African country is a shithole country. Mm -hmm. I mean, how does that land with you as a dad? Yeah, that's, it's, it's like it's disappointing and it's hurtful. It really is hurtful more so. Like, it, everyone feels anger. But after the anger, it's really hurtful because it's like you're looking down on a whole population of people. And you're so misinformed because these places have beautiful people and have beautiful everything. Yeah. Um, and it's just like this is the leader of the free world speaking like this. But on the other side, this has been going on. Yeah. This is how people talk. This is how they talk behind closed doors. There was a moment where Donald Sterling had been exposed as this racist on a private phone conversation that he was having. And they took his team from him. And it's like, okay, that's one way to do it. But another way would have been, let him have his team and then let's talk about it together. And let's, and let's have, have maybe discussion. some penalties. But because once you do that, right. all the other closet races just run back in the hole. You, have done, you haven't been fixed anything. What you've done was spray perfume on a trash can. Mm. Mm. And what you do when you do that is, you know, the bugs come and you spray something and then they come. And then you create a super bug. Right, because you don't take care of the problem. You don't take the trash out. You just keep spraying whatever over it to make it acceptable. And then, you know, as those things grow, then you create a super bug. And then now we have Donald Trump, the super bug. That's going by. <laughs> But, but no, but uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really good point. I mean, it sounds like you're almost kind of happy Trump that... Donald Trump is a human being, too. Let's, let's just, I just, I just want you... I just, I just think yeah. I'm being funny. I think yeah. I can say that, too. But somewhere along his, his lineage, something happened to him. Something happened to him. Something happened to him, and he's in pain, and he's, like, expressing it in this sort of way. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, in the hood, you see that a lot. You know, people... Yeah. You know, sometimes people are acting out the worst after the worst things happen to them. That's right. Uh, just to, to give him a little bit of credit, too, let me ask you this. Um, he is somebody who's now saying, look, I'm growing, uh, I'm dropping black unemployment. Uh, black people are doing well under my administration. Um, uh, do, does he have a point that maybe the Democrats yeah. have been giving us good lip service but no jobs? Maybe he's going to you know, say terrible things but put money in our pocket. Does that make him a good leader? No, because it's not about money at the end of the day. Money is not, doesn't equate to like happiness. It doesn't. It's, that's, that's not missing the whole point. We treat people like human beings. And then, um, you know, that's, that's, that's the main point. You can't treat someone like, it goes back to the whole thing. You're gonna treat me really bad and pay me well. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <that's laughs> it's not gonna lead to happiness. It's gonna lead to like, you know, again, the same thing. Everyone's gonna be sick. And um, 
your point about that, yeah, yeah, on the Demo Democrat side is, yeah, it's been a lot. It, that's what opened the door for this sort of presidency, right? For many years, guys, you know, in middle America and things, they've been voting Democrat because that's what they were, their family did. That's so right. they just did it as a, as a you know, a, a reflex. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, th their needs wasn't addressed. It was just more so, okay, let's just use, just get this vote because this vote, it became about votes and not people. That's my, my problem with government is I think they forget that it's real people behind it, these decisions that they're making. They're not, we're not 25,000 votes in this area. It's like people going through real thing in real time and, you know, and then real pain. And when you ignore those, um, that pain for so long, you know, people out of, they'll out act of, out. Yeah, they'll act out. And it's like, man, I want to see something different. I don't know. And then that opens the door for what we're living through now. You know, the thing I want to see, yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> right. um, the thing that is so beautiful about you and so beautiful about what you're doing is that um, for so long, hip hop was this sort of, you know, pose of boasting and accusing. I'm great, you suck. Mm -hmm. And also, that's what politics has now become. Yeah. My party's great, you suck. Yeah. And all accusation, no confession. With your album, you have come out with a confessional hip hop. If people in D.C. were as honest as you, we would have no problems at all. So I just want to appreciate you for what Thank you're doing. You. Let's talk about it more. Uh, Niggas need to stop cooning. Right now, it's an emergency situation. <laughs> Niggas need to stop cooning, Back. including myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nothing off me. We all need to motherfucking get focused and get this money.